Yo, what is up squad? It's your boy Pino E here and today we're going to switch it up a little. It's been a slow news day and since the 2018 Air Max month is right around the corner, we're going to look at the top 18 most expensive Air Maxes currently for sale. If you think you know what number one is, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. But first, hit the like button and let's go. Starting off at number 18, we have the Nike Air Max 90 Homegrown. This pair dropped back in 2006 as a collaboration between Amsterdam's Pada and Nike, and you don't have to dig too deep for the inspiration. If you didn't figure it out with the Homegrown nickname, maybe the colors will help. The green is known as Grass Green, and the orange is Orange Blaze. If you like this shoe, then smoke a joint and get ready to spend $1,000. For number 17, let's go back to 2002 to the Atmos Nike Air Max 1B Safari. For this pair, Atmos brought back the Nike Air Max 1 and fused it with the Air Safari, dropping what is arguably one of the best Air Max 1s of all time. Featuring a Safari print on the mudguard and ankle collar, a canvas twill material at the toe, a soft suede on the upper and heel, and a gum outsole, the Atmos Nike Air Max 1 Safari boasted incredible quality and craftsmanship in an outstanding colorway that grasps Safari safari undertones to a T. One of the most prominent features of the Atmos Nike Air Max 1 is the miniature swoosh on the outer toe of the forefoot, a detail seen in very few earlier Air Max 1 retros. If you want this pair today, open your wallet and get ready to spend $1,100. On to number 16, and we're back in Amsterdam with another Pata Nike collaboration. This Air Max 1 released back in 2009 as a quick strike, and during this drop, Nike also dropped a Tier 0 version in white and purple, only available at Pata locations. But alongside those, this pair coming in a white, chlorophyll, and matte silver colorway dropped in very limited numbers. While you're looking at this shoe, I'll let those of you watching know that you could expect something similar this year on the Air Jordan 3 silhouette. But I digress, back to these. If you want them, look for these to run you around $1,150. Over to number 15, and to one of my favorite pairs in this video, we've got the Atmos Nike Air Max 90 Duck Camo. Keeping the shoe's iconic hits of infrared intact, Atmos got to work by dressing the shoe in a black upper with Duck Camo overlays in black chlorophyll in infrared. The shoe dropped in 2013, and today it'll run you around $1,200. Number 14 is next, and up on screen we have the Nike Air Max 1 Premium Cork. Back in December 2016, Nike had just opened the doors to its new retail location in Soho, and coinciding with the store's grand opening, Nike dropped 100 pairs of an unannounced Air Max 1 constructed of a cork upper and featuring premium metallic gold accenting, an off-white sail midsole and outsole unit, and embossed Nike branding on the heel to go along with laser-etched numbering from 1 to 100. I prefer the cork 90s myself, but these will run you $1,200. On to number 13, and next up we got the Nike Air Max 97-1 Sean Witherspoon. Inspired by his passion for 80s culture while drawing influence from vintage corduroy caps, his native Virginia and LA, and his two favorite sneakers, the Air Max 1 and the Air Max 97. This pair comes dressed in a light blue and lemon wash color scheme. Sean Witherspoon's Nike Air Max 1 97 features a full corduroy upper that comes with a Velcro tongue tab with four different patches to select from. Other details include custom insoles and four sets of laces. The pair drops March 26 as a sneakers app draw for $160, but pairs are available now for $1,250. That's crazy. Number 12 is next, and this liquid metal colorway of the women's Air Max 1 features a look that's just that. A metallic upper that's so smooth it looks like it's in liquid form. Of all the liquid metal sneakers produced by Nike Sportswear in 2014, this golden Air Max 1 is among the most sought after. This shoe is straight garbage. I don't like it. If you've got $12.50, you can buy the shoe or you could set it on fire. Your choice. For number 11, we're heading back to 2009 and back to Amsterdam for a look at the Pata Nike Air Max 1 Corduroy. The shoe was released as part of the brand's five-year celebration and came in quite the mixture of colors and materials. The shoe sports a colorway of dark obsidian green, concord, and sport red and was constructed in a mix of corduroy, denim, and perforated nubuck. If you like them, then get ready to spend $1,250 or more. Over to number 10, and if you're looking for the inspiration of the shoe, it's 
fucking bacon. I guess a bacon shoe makes sense when you know that the collaborator for the shoe was Dave Ortiz from DQM, better known as Dave's Quality Meats. Now you can't go to DQM and buy a steak, but this sneaker boutique was modeled from a butcher shop. This shit is just weird, but the guy loves bacon. So using a strip of bacon, he arrived to the colorway of fatty beige and tender red. This was a limited hyper strike, which featured the DQM logo on the tongue tag, a chicken bone inside the heel of the sock bed, and scuff marks on the toe box to mark dry spots on strips of cured pork. That's just fucked up. The pair dropped back in 2004, but today it'll run you upwards of $1,500. Number 9 is next, and for this pair you only have to look back to ComplexCon 2017. As part of the 20th anniversary of the Nike Air Max 97, Undefeated was tapped on the shoulder by Nike to release two versions, coming in your choice of black or white. But alongside those two pairs, this pair up on screen was released exclusively at ComplexCon on November 4th for $170. The pair came in an olive green upper with the repeated Undefeated branding along the shoes piping, with contrasting orange appearing on the tongue label and tag. This was a dope pair, this is a dope pair, and dope is expensive because these will run you $1,790. For number 8, we're heading back to the 2004 release of the Nike Air Max 1 Urawa. This special Japan-only release was a tribute to the Urawa Dragons, aka the Urawa Red Diamonds, I can't even say Urawa, the J-League Football Club, featuring the team's kit as the primary colorway. Not many Air Max 1s over the years have interchanged the classic Nike Air embroidered logo on the heel, but the Urawa Dragons is one of the few exceptions. I'm not a fan, and for $1,955, I fucking hate them. If you're watching this video, chances are you know who and what Cause is, but not many of the newer sneakerheads know that Cause has collaborated with Nike a few times, including these Nike Air Max 90s. And on number 7, that's exactly what we got. Back in 2008, Nike and Cause teamed up to release the Air Max 90 in a black leather and nubuck upper that featured volt green accenting along with the Cause signature double X on the toe box stitching. Completing this pair off was a linen insert. Now only 200 pairs were made and today the shoe goes for upwards of $1,980. Back on number 16, we looked at the Pata Chlorophyll, and I mentioned another pair that released as a quick strike alongside those. Well, at number 6, we have that pair, the Pata Nike Air Max 1 Purple Denim. The two pairs, the Chlorophyll and Purple Denim, are nearly identical in the materials used and color blocking chosen, with the exception of purple being used as a replacement for the Chlorophyll. This pair dropped in 2009, and resale for these is now sitting at around $2,000. We're in the top 5, and next up we have a classic, one of the Air Max Grails, the Nike Air Max 90 Warhawk. Back in May of 2007, the pair released, fashioned after the paint job seen on the World War II Pursuit fighter plane, the Curtis P-40 Warhawk. The jaw design features Tiger Shark, a print that symbolized flying tigers, a group of volunteer American pilots who defended China from Japan prior to the USA's entry into World War II. Such a dope pair, but at just over $2,000, they can keep them. On to number 4, and don't get this pair confused with the Atmos Annable Pack, but what we have up on screen is a collaboration between Supreme and Nike, the Air Max 1 Supreme Animal Pack. The pair features different animal prints throughout the shoe's upper, including the normal tiger, a white tiger, a cheetah, and throw on some fucking zebra as well. The pair released in 2006, and pairs today start at $2,375. Number 3 is next, and for this one we have the Nike Air Max 1 Pink Aluminum Powerwall. The Powerwall series was a collection of shoes released back in 2005 by Nike to celebrate three decades of Air Max, and included in that collection was this rare pair coming in pink aluminum. This pair today, it'll cost you $2,875. On to number 2, and Amsterdam must love the Air Max because we've seen a lot from them. However, this pair doesn't come as a Pata collaboration, but rather a collaboration between Nike and Dutch artist Para. The pair dropped as part of the Capital series as part of a Tier 0 release and is considered to be one of the most coveted Air Maxes of all time. It's unknown how many pairs of the shoe were actually created, but it's believed to be somewhere around the 200 mark. And if you're looking for a pair today, be ready to spend $4,000. And number one, we've made it. Thank you to everyone who lasted to the end. And for our grand finale, we have the Nike Air Max 1 Para Pada. 
This pair comes constructed of a burgundy suede for most of the upper, while nylon can be seen throughout the toe box and ankle area. Finish them off, they're accented by aqua and yellow, and sit on a white midsole with the insole sporting artwork by Para. Only 248 pairs were released worldwide, and today this pair will run you $8,000. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have got something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.